Hey guys, I just got back from a six hour car ride from Des Moines, Iowa. If you guys don't know, I've been in Des Moines for the past four days celebrating Pride Week at Drake University with a bunch of my friends. If you guys don't know, Drake University actually has the best LGBTQA plus program in the entire state of Iowa. So it was really cool to be able to experience Pride with them. And a lot of my friends actually planned Pride Week. The first event that I was able to go to was a drag show that one of my friends was actually in. So it was really great and I had a lot of fun and a lot of shenanigans ensued, so <laughs> I just watch. <laughs> We have been on the road for what time is it? Yeah, like one, that. ten, quarter after ten, ten, eleven, about twelve, four hours. One, three, three hours? About, yeah. About three hours, and we're getting towards the end of Minnesota. This is Shelly. Yay! Hi. She's pretty great. We've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> and we just got out of the snow and the clouds, and it's very beautiful. And then we all got ready for the big show. Just to show how dedicated I am, already starting to edit stuff from yesterday. And hanging with these cuties. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and watching Dirty Jobs. If you can't tell, we're all like this. in this little <laughs> yeah, this works. car. <laughs> Jamming to Madonna. On our way to the home of the depot. Your, your I lied, we're going to Lowe's. They lied to me. I thought it was going to be Home Depot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, did you tell someone that? I told them that we were going to Home Depot. Wow. But it's Lowe's. <laughs> oh, 
and then there was food. Do it, do it now, right now, lick it good. Suck this pussy, does not like you should. Oh, oh, this looks so good. And then we went to the Thursday Night Pride event, which was a comedian named Dana Goldberg, and she was a Jewish lesbian comedian, and she was hilarious. True story. We passed the preschool I went to, and my mother looks at her and she goes, you know Dana went to that preschool. Yeah, she was very sweet. There was a lot of disabled children that went there. She taught the deaf boy how to tie his shoes. She was very good friends with the girl with the swollen head. <laughs> my first thought was, oh my god, I was a really sweet child. <laughs> you know what my second thought was? Why the hell was I at a school for disabled children? <laughs> down and her mom's like Susie you were so sweet to that little lesbian girl Dana Goldberg <laughs> you know what my mother taught us when strangers offered us candy Dana tell them you're diabetic <laughs> not stranger danger not run from strangers because somewhere in my mother's crazy mind she doesn't think that people that want to steal children will take the ones with blood sugar issues <laughs> They're harder to sell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My mom, she, she's she's great. And then after that, we hit the bars, and I did not film any of it because I didn't think about it, and also everything was dead. But I will tell you where we went. We went to this bar called Up Down in downtown Des Moines, and it was a bar slash arcade, and it was super fun. And they had Pac-Man machines and skee ball and lots and lots of alcohol, and it was a great time. And then Friday there was more food. And also lots of art things. Art, 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 art. <laughs> Shelly is cutting out, what is that, foam? Foam board. Foam board for art reasons. And Brett is setting up lights to take pictures of his pieces for the show tomorrow. Very art. And then a rather large family dinner at which I got clam chowder and sweet potato fries that were delicious, but I did not film any of it because that would be awkward. I'm not dumb. Okay, now we are going to Waterfront Seafood Market for dinner to celebrate Brett's art show opening tomorrow. Brett, are you excited? Yes. Yes. Exhausted. Exhausted. It's been a long day, but... Oh, we're going to get hit. It's been a long day, but we're all very excited for the show tomorrow. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Maybe you'd like to see my face. Maybe. I doubt it. But maybe. Shelly and I will not be able to go to the actual show because we have to drive back to Wisconsin, but we are going to get a sneak peek beforehand. So I will show you guys that. And yeah. And then a whole lot of shenanigans happened involving face masks, musicals, and a lot of alcohol. Hello, my name is Caitlin, and I will be auditioning for the role of Alphaba in Wicked. Close my eyes. The glamour. The glamour. The glamour. Jim, we're matching. Oh, uh, oh, you S, yeah. Are you chilly? I can't move my face. And then it was suddenly our last day. Okay, it's last day in Des Moines, and we are on our way to Brett's art show. We're completely exhausted. These past few days have been crazy. I just drank almost this whole entire giant coffee, which is probably a terrible idea. But yeah, we're going to go to the art show, and then I will show you guys all the awesome art that my friend made, and I'm so proud. And then we're going to hit the road and be back home. And I can't wait. I'm going to have one more night by myself before the roommates come back. And I'm just going to soak it in. Beautiful, amazing 
art, which I didn't film because I'm terrible, but you get the point, like, his stuff is really good, and I'm just so proud, and I had a really great time, and I'm happy that I could support him, and that was my trip, and now I'm gonna go take a bath and go to bed, so I hope you guys had a great spring break, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye! <laughs>